going on, people? It's your boy Chris at the 971 Lounge. And today, you know how we do. We've got another special episode for you lot. And today in the house, let me introduce my guests. So we got OJ. What's going on? What's right? going on, my bro, man? You got it, bro. What's going on with you lately, bro? Slow motion, bro. Jeez. Treading. What Treading. Heck? What the fuck does that Treading mean? water, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Treading water. Just staying up there, yeah? Treading, bro. I respect it. And Mr. Fahim. Yeah, yes. Mr. Real Estate. What's going on, my Yeah, league? man. It's all good. All good. Yeah. All the cash, is, you know, the cash is coming, right? <sighs> Alhamdulillah. Maybe some, you know. Alhamdulillah. Give out to your friend some donation to the business, you know. Uh, we'll what, what that, we'll looking for some sponsor, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can talk about that later still. Done, no. Hey, Aisha, what's going on, darling? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, yeah. How's the beauty business going? Booming. Booming? Sheesh. That's what I like to hear, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bounce back and that. Was COVID <laughs> slow for you or was it just... Do you know what? No, because people still have birthdays and uh-huh. everyone wants to look good. So uh-huh. it was all right. But now, obviously, that everything's back open and, like, tourists are coming in. It's better. That's wicked, man. Congrats. Good Maybe stuff. you can do something for OJ, man. He's no looking need, a bit bro. struggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. yeah. <laughs> some, Give him some, some floats. Some contour or something, you know, whatever you, whatever you got uh, in your bag. You must be the guy still using bars. Oh, leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> leave it alone. All right. And then, Jill, you done now? Yeah, I'm good. My name is Jillian. What else should I, should I say? Yo, I'm, I've been out here for six years. I'm a teacher. Most people call me Jill. And just came back from the States, enjoying life, resting, jet lag as all get out. But it's good. Everything's good. Nice to meet you, Jill. Your debut today. Do you know what's going on? So yes. basically, we've got a sick concept that we're doing here exclusively on the 971 Lounge. What happens is I ask a controversial question. Five minute discussion between you lot. After you argue, discuss and whatnot, you have to vote one of you off. Yes, there will be a weakest link. Whoever the weakest link is has to do the walk of shame, sit mm-hmm. over there, and then one of our beautiful guests will come on and take your place. And we're gonna run that for a full hour and run through the controversial topics that way. I hope you're all afraid. It is embarrassing when you get voted off. That's a little disclaimer <laughs> for you. But before we go into all that, man, look at this beautiful studio, man. Jesus Christ, Jill, right? Bro. Yeah. Come man. on, man. Come through, come through. Yeah. Come on. Shake Zayed Road. Um H Hotel. Dot H- wa- dot H wife Hotel. Stu- H Hotel. Just dot Wife Studio. The logo logo's even got a little dot. It's fly as home, man. We got the stars in the ray. It's giving Rolls Royce. You know what I mean? Mm, look yeah. look at Rolls Royce vibes and all them thing there. They got a lot of stuff down here. They even got the um, singing booth and the live DJ set. I've seen a couple of DJs I know coming up in here. A couple of celebs, probably not allowed to mention them. Am I allowed to say something? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. I'll get in he trouble. just gave that look. <laughs> say something, but <laughs> just know big look. people are coming true. It's, it's, a, it's a place to be, man. So um, don't watch that. We'll put that at downstairs so you can go and take a look at that. Now, let's jump straight into it, yeah? The first controversial question for you lot. I'm going to... Give you the mic, yeah, and just get straight into it, okay? I want to ask a question that is probably something that people don't really talk about as much, but it's always on people's minds, okay? Is people preferring lighter skin a form of oppression, or is it just preference? I'm going to start by saying it's preference if you, this is what I like, full stop. It's oppression when it's, this is what I like, because dark skin is me, 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 me. That's when it's an issue. If someone just naturally says, I like light-skinned girls, full stop, because I just, I'm attracted to them, blah, 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 blah. Okay, good for you. But if that sentence finishes with, because dark-skinned girls, is it an issue? Shut up. Nobody asked. You shouldn't have to, it's oppression when it becomes because something else is negative. But I think we only know when things, when there's an inequality, when we question it, right? Because most people don't question their bias. So if I say, well, why? Why do you like light-skinned girls? Why do you like them? Because they're just so pretty because of their hair. Okay, well, when, how often have you been exposed to images that make light-skinned women look beautiful? They're everywhere. They're, they're the models. They're our actors. They're pretty much just what we see in videos, right? And a but lot why of times, is that though? Why hear is me that out, though? hear okay. me out. A lot of times this happens is because there is a colorism, there is a systematic colorism that is being pushed on us, and we don't get opportunities to see dark-skinned women at their best or elevated. And so why people do say it's a preference, a lot of times I think it's because they're influenced by the color imbalance in our society. I agree. That's true. 
I also think that it's, it's exposure as well when it comes to that from that perspective. Because when you think about it, like we, we live in the great, the great state, the great country of UAE. And so we get a melting pot of people. Yeah. All shapes, sizes, colors, skin, whatever scenario. But <clears throat> I think so going back to the question, I still think it is a it's a preference thing. And but the preference can be linked to an oppressive scenario where I people are so, exposed yeah. to A, B, C, and D. So I grew up in a town where it was a military town. So we had everybody. I mean, all this, that, and the third. And so that's what I was exposed to. So I, I got to see everybody. So I got to be like, oh, I like the way her eyes look, or I like the way this look, or this, that look. But I think it comes down to exposure, and then that trickles or hits the domino for your it's, preference. I, I think it's the way it's been portrayed. Uh, I think media, right. social media, social media has a big, big thing to do with it, I think. Uh, I would say in the last decade or some. F- and so on and so forth because social media has had actually a massive impact right so now everyone's exposed to everything online and um marketing as and advertising has been a big thing through social platforms through digital platforms and i think what's na- the narrative that's been pushed always is that the fairer skin is mm-hmm. much more beautiful mm-hmm. and now if you go to like for example even in like places like india like where i'm from basically Right, you look at like the adverts that you see on billboards, you see, and everything. It's always a fair woman, mm-hmm. right? And even in cultures, even castes and stuff like that, right? People see a fairer, fairer lady, or you should get married to a, this lady because she is a fair skin lady, right? People actually treat people who are fairer skin mm-hmm. far better than they actually pr- treat their own people. For a prime example, right? This is a, this is no lie. I was. In India, this is going back like years, about 11 years ago. I was in a restaurant, right? And there was a family, which was Indian family, sat there. And there was a couple of white guys came in. And literally, the restaurant owners picked up the, white fa- the Indian family and said, you guys have to move to that other table and sat the white people down, right? So that just shows you that your own people prefer a fairer skin color. So that just trickles down society, that trickles down through social media and everything. And that has a narrative that it goes a long way to but you know what kids. even before social media if we actually think about it because social media is quite new mm-hmm. relatively we have to think from like our grandparents age and things 100%, like that 100 but social and media has like basically made it it's available to everybody before no, it true. was like well even in families I- like in i friends, know your, your grandma community. would be like oh go out with a light-skinned girl because your life will be easier yeah like, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. everyone yeah, i've probably yeah, heard yeah. that from I've, someone. Literally, I've literally gone on dates here in the uae and at home and had men set me down and say, you know what, like, I want my kid to have features like you. I want my kid to have the same eye color you have. I want them to have, like, like I know they'll be a little darker. And I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, Yeah, so but that's society like, pressures. That's, that's but, but this is, I mean, this is, like, all different societies and different things. This is actually people thinking that other, pe- other features are better than their own. 100%. I'm sure. sitting here with a dark-skinned man. And this dark-skinned man is telling me that he wants to weaken his features. Yeah. And to yeah, make yeah, yeah, yeah. The, his features... These are insecurities, like, though, in that but, grand but scheme of things. That's things the thing. that have come from there. There is upbringing. insecurities, but There's also it's how you, like you said, you've been like exposed this. to. I got a light skin, bitch. Other, or, can I say that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you didn't like, copyright it. <laughs> I mean, it's... it's I, I never forget, like, growing up before social media, because I'm only 20, and before social oh. media, people were like... <laughs> people were like, oh, red bone, red bone, red bone. Like, it was... It was such a thing to be light, you know. It was like, oh man, kind I got like me a red look at, look at, look at this. I got like, me a yellow chick. Yeah, but look at this. Like you know, in Jamaica, there's a massive culture like where the people bleach themselves, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like globally, bleaching, to be fair, globally, right? Bleaching is a thing. Yeah. But obviously, you know, what, like it. Or because tanning because as well. Because it's of the on the society. other side, people are getting darker as well. No, no, no. But, but that's different. What I'm saying is like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Shit. <laughs> Those buttons are serious, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that marks the end of that round. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we heard your points. We heard your points, and there was a lot. Of, that's a thought-provoking um, topic, which is why you guys went into such depth, and we appreciate that. But one of you has to go. I'm sorry. Yeah, one of you has to. Has to one lie. of you literally has to fuck off. One of you has to fuck off. Like, Shit. I'm, I'm gonna say it like that because it's funnier Jeez. that way, isn't it? 
<laughs> it makes it. I want it to be a shameful. We just I want it to be that, a yeah? walk of shame. Yeah. Do you have that? And, and par- <laughs> partially, <laughs> I don't. Let me. Nah. <laughs> nah. I'm good. Yeah. Nah, that's not. It. Okay. That's not it. Anyway, um, who we voting off? OJ, you go first. I bro. say we run one more round and then no, no, the no. weakest of the two. No. The first to top of the show. No. no. Who you voting off? So I'm voting off just for the sake of effort. Let's, because we have a lot of ladies in here. If Let's you're get, too kind, they're going to vote you off, bro. I've been here before. I don't care. <laughs> Ask me, do I care? Ask me, do I care? Let's let's do Aisha for this for this one. So is Aisha. All right. Fahim, what are you saying, bro? Ah, this is a tough one still. I can't lie. Um, <laughs> Who would you I, like to see walk? Be fast. Be sharp. Otherwise. I, this, this is my home girl. I can't lie. Is it? But Aisha, sorry. Aisha. Because I, no, no, no. Do you know what? I think she's going to come back. She's going to come oh, back I'll strong. Give it a rest. Go on, Aisha. <laughs> who, who you voting off? Well, I've been voting off now. Yeah, uh, it's no, the numbers, no, no, it's the numbers thing. Bro. You haven't. Yeah, I mean, look, if you vote for OJ and Joe does as well, then... We then stay I, on, like then, I said. Then we have to do a belly dancing competition. So. Nah, bro. <laughs> let's see, let's see <laughs> what's up. Might as well just take the back. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Let me go first. Let me go first. Okay, OJ bet. can go. Okay. <laughs> Joe, go on. Oh, I'm not going to vote against Aisha. I'm not going to vote against, against girls. We, we stay Remember on, sound like. Remember that girls stay together. <laughs> we stay on, OJ, sound like. OJ would have thrown me to the wolves anyway. <laughs> Did I, though? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Just, so what, you what, said what your piece. Now? In this case, you both have to go off, man. I'm apologizing. We say got, less. We've got two people in the audience. Say less. Come on, it's not personal. It's just the way the game goes. See you later, guys. Oh, Sayonara. Uh, this is, this is brutal. Though. It's brutal. Yes, 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 girls. So we got we got Shola inside the house now. Jeez. Shola, what are you saying, girl? Nothing. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. How's the hair business, man? It's all right. Yeah. Yes. Hair game popping. You look fly. You look fine. I mean, it's always. a dead day for me, but come on, we move. That's all. It gets like that. We turn God. <laughs> <laughs> Samina, what are you saying? Hey, I'm good. How are you feeling to be back on the show? I mean. I mean, I mean, wasn't I had so much fun last week, so I had to come back. So you're back again. All right, <laughs> let's let's jump straight back into it. Oof, let me just see what, what, what topic I'm going to bring up. This should be interesting. Okay, cool. Hmm. All right. Is it okay for a woman to date while she's pregnant? Wow. That's a bit of... Ooh. No. Let's be going. Ooh. Yes. Well, actually, uh, uh, yeah. I, I think she should. I think she can. Why not? Why shouldn't she? If she's being completely honest, because you can't hide a pregnancy at the end of the day, but let's say I'm pregnant... And I'll go to a bar, well, not necessarily a bar, but let's say I'm in a supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> let's say I'm in a supermarket. I've got no business in a bar in pregnant. <laughs> let's say I'm in a supermarket. If a man approaches me and he's genuinely interested in me and, you know, I've got no ties, not saying I've got no ties to my baby dad, but let's say me and my baby dad, we're just not going to work out. It is what it is. It was a fling. I, like, I didn't want to have an abortion and someone else approached me and he actually did a future with me, then yeah. I, I think so, I yeah. Mean, like I think yeah. if two people like want to be together and want to date, uh, there's nothing wrong with it depending on the situation because like if she's married and she's attached to somebody and she's basically going out there and she's got a baggage and stuff then nothing's wrong but if there's no baggage there's nothing and the other guy's okay with it with her being pregnant and stuff i don't can see can i play wrong devils then go on, yeah no. go on just devil's advocate okay so when you're pregnant and you have a baby that's a change of circumstance She's pregnant at the moment, so she's only considering herself as one person. She's got a ute in her stomach, but it hasn't come out to exist, right? Mm. Once the baby comes to this world, her circumstances change. Her feelings, her emotions, her status, whoever she is, is going to change. So for me, it's Mm. like, I'm not saying I'm not against a woman dating while she's pregnant. Live your life. But I feel like to be fair to yourself and the person that you're dating, maybe you should wait and see how you feel thereafter because I think you're no longer thinking about yourself as an individual. And I'm not saying as a pregnant woman, she's not thinking about herself and the baby, but things change. And I think once you... Once your circumstances change, like with anything, you if you like lose your job, you shouldn't date. You should give yourself a period of time to mm. establish... That but don't you situation. think women are more like obviously women are more emotional, right? So don't you think who said that? Who said that? Well, I mean, no, yeah. I, I, look, I think you know women are more emotional than men, right? I mean, um, there uh, are emotionally a lot of emotional. led. I feel men, like men are very emotional, men are very emotional very as well too. as well. And However, I think that if a woman is carrying, I think a that men child, are uncomfortable with females' emotions, and therefore they call us emotional. 
right? Mm-hmm. And okay. so, okay so let's let's just that. Let, me just, <laughs> let me just gather that yeah. very quickly. But what I'm saying is, if a woman is carrying a child, right, I think she, there's a lot of emotional attachment when it comes to dating, and she has to make very calculated decisions, right? So I think when, personally, if a woman is actually carrying a child, she should be thinking not just for herself, but also the baby in the future. So therefore, I think she's in her right mind to make calculated decisions. Far better than if she was just single and just out there doing uh, a thing. So on. I think Let going into so. dating, she's not just I thinking mean, about... I, don't, I, I hear you. Not, not, not everyone's going to be the same, obviously. But I just I'm don't just think we're defining dating. So if we're just talking about seeing multiple people and getting your groove or whatever. I mean, I think true, it's distasteful. True, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's definitely but distasteful. Uh, yeah. um, you're putting yourself at like risk. That. You're putting your it's headspace at risk. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you're probably fact, yeah. going out with a bunch of people that just have a fetish for pet preggers. Like, you know what I mean? Yep. But if oh, you're no, no, if no, you no. actually meet somebody within this season of your life that happens to be like an amazing person mm. and that is going to be could possibly be in your life long term, I don't think I think that life is way too short. Life is way too precarious to overlook those types of influence and blessings that come into people's mm. lives. I know a number of women who have mm. gotten pregnant. The, the dad like whatever was a douchebag and then they met somebody while they were pregnant and that person ended up being in the child life in child's life as a husband as the you know stepfather for at least 10 years or more yeah yeah so i don't think we should like hate on it but i do think it's distasteful to just be like swiping with your belly on tinder or something wow. like that i mean if, if that's what she's into and that's what he's that's into not dating that's not dating that's, that's like smashing of dating that's a form is it I mean, listen, like, like you said, <laughs> everybody's you to, dating. You don't really different. have to set a date. You just kind of have to fall through. So I, I mean, don't feel like... No, because you could, that, that <laughs> could be dating. You're dating with a purpose. Your purpose yeah. is to get but the down. A date? Like, you don't even have to go on a date to do that if that's all you want. No, sometimes people like to go and eat before they go. And, and, and go their belly's full. Make <laughs> <laughs> sure your belly's full <laughs> more than one way. I want your stomach and your uterus full, girl. Like, wow. that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> we go <gonna> smash, <laughs> but nah. I hear you. I, I me, just don't think there's anything wrong with it. To be honest, I, yeah. yeah. I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong. I just think. Do you know what's mad? From time, it's actually a category on Pornhub. Don't ask me how I know. This that. one's uh, what you don't. <laughs> yeah, this took. From time, it's <laughs> actually a left. category. <laughs> wow, have you? Have you considered that? Out? The man might just be dating you because you're pregnant. And as soon as you give birth, the fetish is gone. Like how often, if you have that fetish, how often does it actually come around the opportunity to... to But don't you think as a woman, as a woman, like uh, obviously uh, you guys are better like to answer this, but as a woman, wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you be like, okay, you know what? This guy is there just for this. Not necessarily. Listen, guys are... uh, Liars. Demons in disguise. <laughs> Sometimes. No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. I look. feel like all they to be lie. fair, I am pro female and I do think that's true, but girls be lying too. Yeah, I don't know. This, 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 this is my point, yeah. This is this is my point. So like as a like a normal person, or I say normal, I don't have a fetish for pregnant women or anything. Yeah. So like I'm not gonna be Are you sure? I'm <laughs> joking. I'm not gonna be up in there like, you know, trying to get with a pregnant woman or whatever. But if you see someone who has actually has a fetish, you can I'm pretty sure you can distinguish that now nah, this this guy has got a not fetish necessarily for, pregnant women. for anything. Like some men generally have a fetish for like feet. Yeah, feet. Yeah, feet. but then or you even, would know though. You no, would but know. Even like they can have a fetish for like you can always Google. Women, like, there's always Instagram. No, but you, you can always but find out who they were If you're dating a man, you know right? If you're dating a man, you will not know that he has a fetish for something. I'm what I was gonna say. Yes, you can. But you can say certain man might have a fetish for like let's say Spanish girls. Yeah, and go for a phase where they just date Spanish girls. Yeah, but we're talking about they were talking about something specific yeah. like pregnancy. we're not talking about like a <laughs> sexual <laughs> yeah. 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 but this is like pregnancy don't leave well you if like you look at his uh, this is the thing a woman wouldn't necessarily know unless she asks about his but ex this is and then no, no, if no, every no, no, ex no, 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 was pregnant at the time that's how I think that's naive I think that's I think that's very naive but then people can deceive you so you don't think that people have the ability to deceive and portray I'm not saying that so I'm not saying that not all women will be able to read that and if you're talking about like, I don't know if you've heard of the term, and I'm not, like, 
pregnant women or mums don't kill me, but they say she's got like um, mummy's brain. Yeah. You know, during a period no, of no, I'm not pregnancy, saying that. there's a lot of things that yeah, you're not yeah, able I, to I hear see. you. So I, I don't think you. she will. But I still think that. But you can tell, people. capable of telling someone has a fetish or not. Like if you're with a guy How? and you're yes. dating someone and getting to know the someone, are you trying to tell me that you don't know? You can figure that shit out pretty quick. This is pregnancy, you know. This is But this is pregnancy. We're not talking about Spanish or fuckboys. No, no. I'm saying genuinely, like, how what do you know a man's a fuckboy? Like, you don't. No. You have to go through the you, motions and you, you eventually but, find okay, out. Okay, yeah, but you'll okay, eventually okay, find out that he has a fetish is, for pregnant women. There is or, definitely or, yeah, eventually. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, exactly. Usually, yeah, you usually right, you know don't I mean? realise, you're not a, you're not nine months in when you figure out somebody's a fuckboy. You know what I'm saying? Like some, you, some people are ten years in, and then they figure out. Well, they've just been dealing with shit for a long time. Like, like you've been dealing with fuckboy <laughs> shit for a long time. I think that's, that's a different topic. I think that's a different topic. All I'm saying is, like, you can figure it out. It's not like that. People lack intellect. People choose to pay attention to what they would like to pay but, t- attention to. And we're talking about and pregnancy. Also, if, are we it's saying so that specific. fetish? If like, are we saying you know that what? fetish is Wait, not attached to emotion or attached to real commitment and feelings? Yeah. You can have a fetish and still grow and real person, feelings yeah. and with that person. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And and that just be it. But if your fetish is disabling, where you're only able to mm. date this type of person, that's a different thing. And I am pretty sure that there's something you. Most of us have some level of intuition. Well, you're going to be yeah, able to yeah, figure yeah. out yeah, and, and have some type of, like, uh, he a little weird. Uh, exactly. He, he already talking about he's been pregnant for belly. three years. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. He wants to have sex all the time. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That was a funny one still. But honestly, if so, I, I personally think that, look, if someone has a fetish for your pregnancy, I think you'd be able to tell, like, 100%, he's paying special 100%. attention to the belly. He always wants to rub cream on your belly, but he's looking at the belly instead Maybe of your eyes at dinner. What the hell is going on? <laughs> This is another man's child in your stomach, How man. Would you feel yeah. if yeah. It. How would I feel with my baby? But exactly, this is what I was gonna say to Fahim. Like, how would you feel about dating a woman that's pregnant? On that side, it's 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 I personally, bro. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't feel I wouldn't. comfortable with it either. Why? To be, to be, well, just because you know you're constantly reminded of someone else. Yeah, I hate that. I think. Do you know? And remember what I said. I genuinely think most of men's decisions are based around their ego. Hundred percent. That's yep. it. Because the reality 100%. is, False. in your yep. mind, False. you're you're seeing a pregnant woman. And that means said, another though. man has nutted in her, which you're now always going to see another man on her belly. No, yeah, no, 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 I, I, no, no, I, not necessarily. Like, not necessarily. There's other things to it, it as well. Yeah, it's but like it, if if I'm if I'm going to be or try to get into a relationship with a woman who's pregnant, I'm essentially th- saying that I'm going to raise that child as my own. Okay, right? but would you? But would I you can't date her after because the baby came. No, you don't w- date women with children. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. You still, so you still, oh, wow. I wouldn't. Okay, that's it. That's it. Right, okay, fair no, enough. Do you know what is the reason for this? No, if I'm dating someone, I'm dating someone for long term, like you know, with marriage in mind. So what's the problem with having a little baby? Sorry. Sorry, I'm not not no offense. No, no, you're no. 35, yeah, because yeah, yeah. based off your last conversation, at 35, I feel like your options don't. Mind. I'm not being now, as a man. You like, have options. Now, okay, but older, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, at 35, ahead. let's be real. Most people your age would have done had kids already, yeah. Mm-hmm. So the reality is, if you find a good woman that ticks every single box, I yeah, have, alhamdulillah. and alhamdulillah, mashallah, She's and beautiful. she was <laughs> she had a baby, stunning. yeah, yeah. Okay, not the one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, no, no, she had a baby, yeah. You're saying you're going to walk away from that situation. He's got a choice. No, no, no. Because I would not be. In, no, no, no. Asking, no, no, no. But I wouldn't away. get into a relationship or a situation with her if she had a baby already. From the beginning. From the beginning. He in wouldn't. the beginning. In <laughs> yeah. the beginning. In, 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 Look, from the beginning. The reason, the reason I wouldn't do it is because I have a choice. Yeah. I'm high value and alpha enough to, not, to oh, have yeah, a choice. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so you know what? So, so, back to your point. so why back to your if I have point. a choice, would I go for a situation women, that I yeah, don't want to be exactly. in? Do you get what and I'm trying to say? As men get older, their oh. value increases. Who said that? Okay, Facts. this is garbage. Yeah. But also... <laughs> what? Facts. Not no, the no, no. Viagra. Here, yeah, yeah, which I have to. No, we're not talking about 60 plus here. We're not talking about 60 plus. I don't... I don't... I... I. We were talking about pregnancy. I, I think that it's very... Or I think it's very interesting that a guy would not date a woman with kids like like there's some type of 
Like, I think people just don't want. No, no, the, no, no. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. I think people just don't want the. I don't. I don't. Th- I don't think people want the responsibility. And I think it's a, a lot like what you said. It's their ego. They don't. They want everything in that situation to be them. See, this Children is what women do not devalue a woman. Facts. Never said that. Children. Never said that. But that kind of. But it's implied. No, never said that. It's implied because you're like I have no. options, which implies I have better no, options. No, no, no. Never said that. It's no, a choice. Well, I can't it's a, it's lie. a choice. I can't lie. I slightly hear it okay no, i'm 26 it, at this point i understand the older i'm getting the more yeah. man i'm gonna meet it's starting to have kids yeah but at this period of my life do i want to date someone with kids no you don't have to Hell this no. is a thing because, because it's your position yeah. Yeah. the difference is yeah the reality is where you are in life mm. at the end of the day you are still in your progress right yeah but at, at the age of i'm 32 mm. well not no not yet 31 but at the end of the day shush at the end of the day, joking. At the end of the day, finish your point. Let's um, go. Come. What's it called? I have to take into consideration that most people around my age mm. range are gonna have kids. Does that Here's mean it. no? But uh, yes, I have a Here's choice. A but I'm not gonna de- like, devalue yeah, yeah. somebody no. based yeah. off of the fact that they have a child. It's enough. enough it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. No, no. Let let's finish. Next topic, yeah. man. We need to. We need to keep it moving. Like, but before we jump into the next topic, one of you's got a cup. So sorry. Oh but this God. is honestly my favorite part of the show. Honestly, I, I mean, this is not long enough, bro. All right. So, so Shola, who are we voting off? Um. Be sharp, be sharp, be sharp, be sharp, be sharp. Come on, it's, get, it's getting late, okay? Sorry, Fahim, just because you've been doing Fahim, so long. Fahim, take a look. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fahim, who are you voting off, my brother? I think I'm just going to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, bro, uh, I think Jill. Sorry. All right, that's one vote for Jill, one for Fahim. Mina, what are you saying? I was actually going to vote for him. Sorry, know, but not. Know, yeah. 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 Same because you've done two rounds. Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. No, 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 I'm going to vote for Fahim because I'm going to stick with <laughs> I love for your effort, my bro. Like, it's all love. Safe okay. for him. You're yeah, taking gun down. Who's next? Bang. At least I didn't get voted off. Who's next? Aisha, come back, please, darling. Woo, oh, we've got, we've a got full female panel. We've got a full jeez. female panel. I'm overwhelmed. I got to ask you guys an interesting one. Okay. You know it's gonna be peak when we got to vote each other off in it. <laughs> yeah, everybody. I'm just gonna look to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. What should I ask all women? It's a bit of all right, all right, all right. I got, I got, I got sat in for the women. Okay. I got sat in for the women. All right, this is this is um, a bit different from what we normally do, but it's okay because I want to see a female perspective. Toxic mothers are worse than absent fathers. Lego. Wow, hundred percent. I think, and this is, I feel like anyone who's got brothers will also know this, especially if you come from a single parent household. For some reason, your brothers are just exempt from all Facts. rules. Oh my god! They can't that's do so no wrong. Yep. Even if yeah. they killed someone, the mum will be cleaning the blood. Like, yeah. Let me, back. let 100%. me come home late. Let me come yeah. home late after a night out, and the whole world has stopped. Yeah, whore. But this boy is out here <laughs> doing all sorts of madness because they're trying to protect the son so because much. he doesn't have the dad around. Yeah. yeah. Toxic mothers are worse than I think. But what makes them a to- okay? So again, devils. What makes a toxic mother toxic? Because the reality is, okay, from my understanding, is a toxic mother only becomes toxic, or a mother becomes toxic when there's an imbalance in the household. At the end of the day, there's two parents. There needs to be two people, a man and a woman, because a man shows the softness to his daughters and the harshness to his sons. And vice versa, yeah. the mother shows the softness to her sons mm-hmm. and the harshness to her daughters to teach them how to be mo- women and mothers growing up, right? So how, again, devils, not saying I don't agree, but I'm saying you take a man out of the household, absent father, the woman is automatically going to be toxic because the household is imbalanced. Yeah. So she's only doing her duty as she would do. However, there's no man to balance out the energy. Do you get what I mean? Does that make sense? I yeah. agree with what you've said. Oh, let's, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, I, no, no. Go ahead, I agree with what you've said, but it doesn't always na- automatically a mother has to be toxic because sometimes yeah. mothers are actually toxic to their sons because but, they don't mm-hmm. have, like, you're raising your son now to be a punk bitch. Like, you're not even raising him to be nice. a man. You're yep. raising him to be an idiot and no yeah. girl's going to respect that because he's either got mommy issues, daddy. There's always some form of issue. But a mum can't take a step back and be like, shit, I'm not doing this right. Yeah. Yeah. She will continue. She'll hate his women. Like yeah. some mums are in love with their sons. Like, it's Oh weird. my God, that's yeah. the worst. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. That's okay. not necessarily about not having a, a, a dad in the house or a man in the house. That's literally, she's going through something because of what the dad's done to her. And yeah. It's yeah. weird. Like, I think, I think, I think 
people can be toxic when they pass on negative traits or negative feelings or negative habits to their children. So, for example, a lot of some uh, a lot of the problem that I hear is like, you're just like your father. Mm. You know, you're gonna be just like this. You're gonna go to jail, and they put all this negative energy mm. um, onto their onto their sons. And I think another a, a way a parent can be uh, toxic, especially the mother to a woman, is like they they suppress their sexuality, the female yeah. sexuality, and they demonize it, and they don't allow the girl to actually grow up and feel comfortable with being sexual. And I'm not saying she's encouraging like youthful sex, you mm. know what I mean? But she's not like actually helping the child embrace it. She's scaring her and suppressing it. Mm. And yeah. the other thing is, is like I think especially in black homes, we have this idea that we have to make our girls really strong, no matter what. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, don't be stupid and let him get you pregnant. But you talk to the son. If she love you, she'll stay with you, even though you're with this other girl and you got uh -huh. her pregnant. And I've heard these things before, and I've seen these dynamics, and I think that is toxic. Mm. I hear you. I don't even disagree with anything you've said. <laughs> but I do. what I always say is that at the end of the day, obviously trauma or toxicity mm -hmm. isn't just born out of nothing. There is a long history of trauma, especially within black communities and it comes from and I'm not saying it's the men's fault for being absent because it there are a lot of his there's a lot of history around why men were taken out of the household but because of the pain and the trauma that has been passed down this is why I think we are in a situation now where we have a whole generation of soft men mm. and again don't shoot me but you know men that Thanks. don't necessarily have masculine energy and try to carry on like put this masculine crown as in I'm the man of the house but they don't know what it means to be a man of a house 100%. and then we have a whole generation of strong women who again don't know how to say uh, be the neck as opposed to the head of the house you my, know what I mean my friend went through a divorce recently my best friend back home and one thing that she explained to me like her therapist or whatever explained to me was that she actually feels like black men and black women are incompatible because really? yes, wow. because because of uh, family dynamics and that essentially women are created to be take initiative to take be independent to do everything you need to do because there might not be anyone there yeah. right whereas men are not given that type of energy in their home mm -hmm. right yeah. and they are also expecting women to be completely understanding totally forgiving and everything you basically said about like not knowing how to step up and take on some alternate or different roles as opposed to the woman. When they get together, say for example, your tire's flat. Hey babe, my tire's flat. The next day, he feels like, well, I should just be able to get to it and you should just appreciate me for that because I'm here yeah. and I'm going to work. And then she's like, well shit, shit, I need to go fix my tire. So she goes outside and she knows how to fix her tire and she does it, and then the guy feels emasculated, yeah. right? And it's, it is just like an imbalance. I don't know. If, I think that we can become more compatible, but I don't know. I feel like then that means we're both as to like a toxic mother is as to like is as bad as an absent father because in essence, it's not one worse than the other. It is that equally just as no. Bad. There's an imbalance because if the dad's not there, he doesn't like the child's gonna miss out on things. But then you, as a woman. With your dad not being there, one, there's a huge part of um, learning how to be loved by a man that That's you don't true. receive. I agree. And that makes you, later on, a toxic woman in a relationship. I'm not saying that that's what it yeah. is. But without having a man in the household, one, you don't know how to receive love. You don't know what healthy love looks like. You don't know what a healthy relationship looks like. All you know is whatever your mum's shown you in terms of how she's managed to love but a don't man. You think, that's don't, you think that, don't you think that... Um, a house without a man means the woman is more likely to be toxic. Facts. Yeah. So, yeah. Sometimes as a man, you need to hold down your that. wife and patterns. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Isn't it Maybe she'll lose thing? control and then become toxic as a result. You get? I, I feel like, and this comes from a, sing, like a single parent household. I feel like them, and my mum's not toxic. She's probably the most untoxic person ever. Alhamdulillah. But, but, the, <laughs> but it's like the, the amount of stress and pressure that is put on a single mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually don't, not that I don't blame them and become toxic, but waking up 6.30 in the morning, getting yourself ready, 
getting yep. three kids ready, taking them all to school, taking yourself to work, yep. working a long day where, again, as a black woman, sometimes in the workplace you're treated like absolute shite. Yeah. Yeah. Then trying to then find a way to pick up the kids. You can't make it. The kids are pissed because you're late to pick them up. They're the only yeah. kids in the playground. And you got to go home, make dinner. I'm not surprised certain black yeah. women are stressed. I think the tired. expectation no, what's, what's our definition of toxic? Because I, how yeah. I, I'm not seeing toxic, like, that's not toxic, that's mm. stressed. And yeah. a stressed mum is not a toxic mum. But sometimes it can manifest into toxic someone. Toxic yeah. is something toxic. that pollutes. Oh, wow. Something or, that pollutes, right? Exactly. So, so as a toxic mum, they affect. Right. A to- they, you can be a single mum mm. and still be a brilliant mother. Yeah, 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 but yeah. They're the toxic ones, I don't really feel like it's 100% or oh, because the man's not there because a man's not there for many of them. Mm-hmm. It's the woman, yeah. it's her upbringing, it's how she was raised and it but makes them spiteful. It makes like them nasty yeah. traits. It's not necessarily for a single but, mother. And let's remember, also, mums as well, before there were mums, they're actually people. And some yeah. people are very, very toxic. Yeah. 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 Kids yeah. or no kids, yeah. they're just toxic. They're just yeah. And they take that people. out yeah. on their, on their kids. kids. But yeah. also, also, oh Lord, I think I forgot my thought. No, I was Sorry. saying the expectation... <laughs> could be considered toxic right for yeah. example like you describe what a mom has to do right mm-hmm. and then you have a girl and a, and a boy in the home right and that expectation is not healthy right it's not meant healthy for your body it's not healthy for your emotional sex life anything it's just not a good way to have to live yeah mm-hmm. yeah and so then that expectation is then set for your children like i should be as strong as yeah. you hear so many men say i want a woman that's strong like my yeah. mother yeah. Yes. i want I a woman that can do this like like right. my mother Dry like ankles. yo Are your, your mom was in like that's toxic mm. not the not not your mom wasn't toxic but that expectation is yeah. toxic yeah. because yeah. most of us don't want that shit no right. nope. we do not want that and a lot of people were like pass i won't be in the relationship because of why don't you want that though because you know what that's actually my mindset my mom was Are a you? wavy my, my mom was wavy but you and when i deep it now did you see the tears. okay cool but I'm when i deep boy, when i deep girl. when i deep yeah. it now i'm like Bro, my mum actually held it down. Like, I need a woman who's going to so, hold it down the same way. What? It shouldn't be like you that. Your mum had to own, be... At her own demise. Yeah, at because your mum wasn't sacrifice. able to be who she was outside of being a mother. Do you get what I mean? She was your world, right? Mm. She held it down to that point where you can walk away and say, Bro, my mum was this woman. Like, she was strong. She did this, that, and the other. However... You, no you modern day blame. woman no woman wants, wants to be your mother a hundred percent and they don't want to have like, to go no woman through. wants to have sex lit. with you and be your mama a hundred percent it's not about She's be my mom do you know what it is no 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 do you know what it is my my motivation to say those words is based more around my mom's character okay than necessarily yeah, but, but like the way she was working really hard and all this i'm not saying i want to marry my mom i'm just saying a woman with a good like like virtuous characteristics because that's what I've seen in my mind. Not what everyone you're says gonna that. Attract, you rem- remember, you're going to attract who you are, right? So at the end of the day, if that's what you look for in a woman, be those very things. You will find it. It will come amongst you. You can't go out into the world. And, and, and I hear men always saying this. I want a woman like my mum. Are you like your mum? Uh, do you do the same things? Do you do the do same things? Do you deserve a woman like you? Exactly. Mom? Are you even that man? Like, yeah, but if you're a man, you deserve it for different how? reasons. How? Well, how, babe? Why do you deserve it? What, because you got money in your <laughs> pocket? Oh, we, we can get into that. Wow. Yeah, we can get into that, but wow. it's true. It's true, like, because look, if you're a man and you have choice, yeah. then you're going to pick a woman with, with a good character. Like, yeah, for me, but you say for me it's, true. All, well, it's all about character. Because my dad had money and my dad this, 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 yeah. this, so I deserve it. You don't just, you don't, you're just not entitled to it. No, like, but, I get what you're saying. But if you have if a choice, put, then that's what you're going to go for, isn't it? Like, even women who come from good families, mm. yeah, they're going to pursue men who also come from good families. Like, but that's then natural. you got to understand, I can, okay, so a man, yeah, like you guys all said, you all have choices, yeah? Which is lit. Whoop. Yeah, okay, there's bad <laughs> girls out there that want Whoop. you lot. Okay, however, <laughs> any woman can put on a mask. And pr- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> any woman can put on a mask, yeah? Bearing in mind, like, if we're saying what guys want to go off of, I'm a high value man, I've got money in my pocket, I'm, I'm educated, I can offer you a certain lifestyle, yeah? You can get any woman that you want. So many. Any woman can put on a mask to be the woman that you want them for to be that for that reason. Yep. Just because you're offering Just a certain so lifestyle. Just so she can get that ring, right? 
That's just it. so she can relax. And I then know, she's a I know That's several. I, and she's a demon with say, the kids. I know, I know several, <laughs> she's several toxic, men mom. that say that they feel like they got tricked. Fat. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Oh, she, when we was dating, she always had a home cooked meal. The yep. house was always. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, and I she did all that to let you. Months. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I had your babies. Now I'm like ready to chill. And then you end up with like um, two different. <laughs> so this is, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Men need to be a bit more. Like, you have to understand that if we're talk- taking away from genders, right, you attract who you are. The people that are around you should reflect the person that you want to be, right? And if, at, like they say, if you're in a space where um, basically you're the best person in the room, then you're in the wrong room. You need to start putting out the yeah. energy that you want to come into your life. If you're not walking the shoes that you're tra- of the woman that you're trying to marry, you're not going to find her. You're going to be finding these dead things on road and then you're going to be wondering, oh, why can't I find a good woman? Because you're shit as well. <laughs> but <also> shit attracts <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right, so on that point, <laughs> someone vote this guy off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. That was oh, a banger. That dead. was a banger one. Let me see. I hope this is the. Yeah, that was that was a good one. Still, you might as well keep this panel. I can't lie to you. You I'm know what? The female nah, energy. you know what? I feel it as well. But now nah, one of you's got to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the that's the way the game works, man. So, um, I know Shola just didn't want to vote. That's why she. <laughs> Shola, who are we voting off, darling? I know these are your friends, but it's not personal. I'm sorry, my babes. As you said, it's not personal. But Jill, you've had three rounds. <laughs> okay. Aisha, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Sorry, Aisha. And if you take too long, you'll go off yourself. So. <laughs> Rotted. It? It's like that out here. It's the 971 lounge, man. We want all Do we need words. a word from our sponsors before you flip and give us an answer or something? Is that possible? Okay. Unless you want to sponsor Just because you've been up for three rounds. No, it's all okay. good. Yeah. <laughs> Samina. I was just going to say the same thing. Sorry, Joel, baby. All right, Joel. I'm going to have to love and leave you. See you Woo! later, darling. Thank you very much. What did you say? Whoop. OJ! Whoop. <laughs> You're being summoned, my brother. <laughs> See you later, Jill. Round of applause to Jill. She did work. I love how you have this in a little flask. <laughs> Come collect. <laughs> it's just a little juice. <laughs> that was a cocktail a flask. song. OJ! Nice to see you back, my bro. Whoop, whoop. What's going on? I love how we replaced one American with another American. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the thing. We've got up a lot of Americans out here, man. It's fun. You guys are, you guys are cool. You guys are I. I. You guys are I. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's jump in straight back into the next question. You know how it goes. Five minutes for this one. Should transgender people have to disclose oh, their previous Jesus. sex? Why did you vote? Actually, Gillian actually, off? let me let me no. let me rephrase it. Let yes. me rephrase it. At what point? Uh, at what point should transgender people disclose their previous sex, if at all? I don't know like at all. If at all, should they even do it? I think 100%. they should. I, at what point? At before what point should they any do? intimacy oh. takes place? I'm saying before intimacy. I can't lie. Before any intimacy takes place. So I'm saying before you even get to exchange your numbers. At that point, let people know. No, because even if he was to tell that, like. Even if you, before, before any intimacy takes place, once any intimacy has happened, it's a violation as far as I'm concerned. Because you should have let them know from beforehand. You can't, like, if that's just something that my personal preference is against, let me, like, give me that, let me know so I can make that decision. In my business, I don't even care about it. I'll be like, thank you for telling me. Because I, oh, yeah, let me just say that. The, the only reason I say not before intimacy, because... The only reason I say that is because, bruh, like someone like me, for example, I'd want to talk to you a little bit first. Imagine that like, I'm now feeling you and I actually start to like your vibe. I can't lie. For me, it's automatically like, it's a turn off. Because one, I feel deceived. I feel like you've lied to me. When I've been completely honest, not to say, oh, people shouldn't just assume I was born a woman, da, 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 but let's be real. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Like, yeah. let's, 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 let's be real. And I'm so sorry, it's going to sound mad, but... Like I said, before you it's get not mad. It's your preference. Yeah, like we're I talking about these days. Is preference. Mm. My thing is at this point because oh, that is it is. <laughs> to your people then. They own it. He's so so on the on the topic, I just think from a from a guy perspective, if I'm if I pull up at the bar or whatnot, or in a supermarket or whatever the case may be, and I and I. I, there's a connection. Men are driven by 
like aesthetics, aesthetics, that kind of thing. You know, so when I pull up in my mind, whether we're right or wrong, whether we say it right or wrong, and we in our mind we've already done it, done yeah. it in our yeah. head. You know, and so. <laughs> Wow. That's just the way we're built overall. We yeah. see boom, boom, boom. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so for me, I'm already, if, if that's not my preference, I, there may be a degree of, de- of violation that takes mm. place in that then regard. you should put your mind away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you. But at the end of the day, the question is crystal clear. I think there should be a, um, in the, as, we're, as we get past that, that conversation, I'm at the bar, we're in the, and I think it should be crystal clear that, hey, look, hey, you seeing I used someone? To be a man. Yeah, yeah, or I mean, because like, are you hey, seeing are you someone? Seeing have, I, have I have I met? Kids. I mean, I've seen you around. No, but let's be real. Let's okay. We've all gone out. We've all been moved to. We've or we've done the moving in that space of time when you're talking to a woman or a man at the bar. Are you actually saying, oh, by the way? Like, yeah, I got kids, or do you know what? I was with a person straight away. I can't, no, like, straight I do it, you away. know? Is that the love bar? Because I don't have kids. Me. There's nothing for me to say. I I'm can't lie. When I'm talking to you, I'm talking oh, to one date, isn't it? bigger so than the other. Yeah. Otherwise, it's. Yeah, it's gonna, have you got a I'm wife? Kids. Do you have a Were you born a man? T- <laughs> for the record, we that's live in Dubai. Do you like men? People have 100 wives, you know what I mean? And that's not what you want. I don't think that happens. Like I'm not disagreeing with you guys. I'm just playing devils. Okay? No, yeah, 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 but I mean, it's an exercise of fertility at this point. It's it's pointless. But then, at what point does that stop? Because okay, listen, I'm with it. I get it. I would like to know that you were your past a woman gender. In your scenario. Yeah, I would want to know you were a woman mm-hmm. um, because again, based off of my beliefs, I can't. That's it's not it's see. not happening. However. I I feel like we're not being like honest with the reality of that most times when you do meet somebody it's rarely at the first conversation that you find out shit about the person. Yes. And I feel like it's mad like when I'm saying in the club when man's moving to you and saying babe put your it, number on you my know. phone. Oh, do you have are you single? Do you See, have a girlfriend? I've, never, I've done it. I've quick. done it. You, you, know you know what? You, you know do what? research. <laughs> and then you scroll down to Facebook <laughs> as well. Because you, you know, know what? Why? I'm on. Do you get what I mean? You know what? I'm on. Don't you find men that are married with three kids, he's got two wives, he's been divorced seven times and I'm finding out three years later. No, no, no. I need to know this now. I'm going to make someone someone down my name I'll come and tell the woman you're saying you're saying listen, you're saying you need to know this now, yeah? Okay, but how offended would you be if a Very. guy just raw said to you, yeah, are you a man? Do you know what? Imagine People how offended you'll be. I wouldn't. You'd be I'm like, a, don't ask that yet. Were you no, a man? I don't ask that yet. Ask it later. No, no, were no. you a man? If, do you want to find out? If a man came to me and said to me, like, oh, can't you, know you what? say, she I just need to know. Are you, first of all, I'll be offended because I'll be thinking, what part of me is giving up Facts. a man? Facts. <laughs> I need we're to legit. know, like, oh, is my jaw too big? Like, what is this? Uh. However, that's what I, as a, as a, as a uh. born female, I'm going to be thinking, female. I'd love. It's been happening before where men have been like, oh, this is Dubai, you know, like you have to be, boys will come to me and be like, oh, you know what? When I first seen you, I thought you was a prostitute. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, to be honest, that's a whole other story that. though. Yeah. Fact, and yeah. then they'll be like, oh, well. and, until I seen you buying your own drinks or until I, I, I was watching you and then I seen you and I realized you weren't. Mm. That happens. And yeah. to me, then if I was a prostitute, I'd be like, oh yeah, I am. Then they can make an informed decision. Do you want to continue to talk to yeah. me? Have you Ma- got the money or what? I'm with you. I'm not. So then I'll just say, I'm like, with you. I just laugh and be like, nah. And then they'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought you was in the beginning. So if a man was to come to me and say, have you seen some of these like trans women out they here? They look like they're, women. They're looking bad. Bro. better. Oh my God. And most, so they're my- looking better than women of today. So if a man was to come to me and ask me that, first of all, I'm going to know that he's accidentally moved to, well, not right, yeah, accidentally moved to trans women before. And I want to know how that's going to be. So, so, so for me, how, did that go? <laughs> how far did it get before Ooh, you found out? Facts. Because you're asking facts. for a reason. Yeah? You're asking for a reason. So legit. Go ahead. No, go no, ahead. I was just going to say we need to normalize that question as far as I'm concerned. He's yeah. going to normalize everything. Let's normalize that question. Yeah. And Agreed. let it be a standard Agreed. question. So for me, me, from yeah. a social respect, uh, from a social status, social, um, you know, from that viewpoint, I think it's important because it's in a scenario where it's becoming more and more relevant by yeah. the day. Yeah. And yeah. so I, from a transparency, from a uh, not offending uh, putting yourself out there, maybe they that's not what they want as well. Yeah. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. I think it's important to be open and 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 show this is my preference, but I like you, but 
really are, are you really to come down in this scenario and the world that we're in now there's men that are into that so they won't even care Facts. like it's not even like well, yeah. not, not you won't open. get no men there's men that are into that just yeah. not openly city, yeah. not, even not, there's not some open as well if we're talking to each mm. other and I'm a man who secretly well, they might be asking the, you because they want it yeah, and that's fine. <laughs> you can lie and just say yeah, so you can get him. I'm a natural born woman, and exactly. if a man was to turn around and be like, you know what, that's lie. not my vibe, and walk off, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, wow. but at least you were afforded the opportunity it, 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 to it, make it, a decision on your go, own. Go and do what makes you happy. That's I just right. don't think that's that it's a. F- I don't think that I'm, I hear you, and I agree. I do feel like way before any intimacy, way before like even dating, even if actually if we go out and we have a coffee or whatever then it needs to be disclosed right mm. but i'm just saying realistically most times you're drinking you're having a vibes it's not something you're gonna ask it and is. maybe maybe i need to take a leaf out of your book uh, listen god's blessed me i haven't dated yet somebody that's been married with three kids <laughs> but, <laughs> not the same man, but i'm saying maybe that's a Bro, question i, I need to, to ask you have, have you to. got a wife of course <laughs> Of course, you have. You know, you got a that right? Your girlfriend, you got kids. You know what? Do it, the kid. You know. You know what? Are you a man? Men like a cis man. Do you know what people will say? Oh, but you didn't ask. Yeah, Are you right? This is a problem. This is a problem. Disrespectful. Do research, Disrespectful. Not, Disrespectful. Not, Disrespectful. Not, Disrespectful. Not, but some people are good at hiding. Man really things. be lying. I know, to be honest. But then, this, even if we're being honest here, yeah, most guys, you ask questions or you ask a question anyway. and they will lie. Yeah. That's all right, true. all right. Let me ask. Let me ask, OJ. One, one, bro. Do you lie about having kids? And how soon do you disclose you have kids or do you wait for them to ask you? So for me, my kids are on my wall, bro. So <laughs> uh, they're my heartbeat, bro. So for me, it's to me. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> so for me, it's, it's it's important because I know they're because of my age and some of the people that I hang around with. That the age is is a big deal. Some people are not ready to take on that. Not that they need to, but mm. knowing it in the in the on the front end to me is important, bro. Um, because that'll that'll dictate whether. So for me, if if I'm if I'm pursuing actively pursuing someone, they'll know within day maximum night two that we've had the discussion. We've talked for sure, whether it's chit chat or on message or whatever. Hundred percent, it comes up without fail. And to me, that's very very attractive because I've dated someone that's yeah. also lied to me about having a child, and I think that for me was gave me the biggest it yeah, yeah, it's like so you're actually hiding it from me but some are someone else where it's like i know they've got kids we've had conversations this is, i haven't really been interested but his relationship with his kids and the fact that his kids are yeah. his world make me like right but then you're- is it not i'm just devils <laughs> yeah go on if okay if you're a beat to me mm. okay so um stuff Allah. <laughs> I'm Muslim, but <laughs> if speaking <laughs> hypothetically hypothetically <laughs> yeah if you're a beat and I have kids. I don't have to tell you I've got kids because you're a beat. I don't see any future with you. I don't have any, like you're coming at my house at 11 o'clock, doing your thing, bouncing, right? Mm. That's what, So I'm just saying, That's thinking different from Wait, wait, how do you know so man? much about how that runs? <laughs> <laughs> how do you know so Listen, much? Listen, I've got brothers, first and foremost, a <laughs> lot of Is them. it one of them halal, halal in the streets, haram in the sheets type <laughs> of thing? I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, I think sometimes the reason what it is with us women as well, I think when guys hide certain things from us, it's generally because they're showing us they don't care for us in that capacity. Because the reality is Ooh, like disrespectful. It is no, but it's it is disrespectful because you know what the thing is? I think when a guy actually values you, I and it's, I know I'm travel, like moving away from the trans event, but anywho, um, when a guy values you and they know that you're gonna be a part of their life, you're mm. going to meet their kids yeah. inevitably. Yes. But when, and, and with all these other guys who are married to, to go out to a club and then now moving to me, so I have to ask you, are you married? You're gonna lie because you don't rate me. You wanna beat. Mm. It's not that you're gonna marry me Some as well. Some will actually say, yeah, I have got a kid. Yeah, I am married. I respect I that, you know. Yeah, but that's because they, they have Some money. Men. Because they have money and they know that there's dumb girls in Dubai that, that will go and date them. It doesn't even matter to them. Do you know though. what? 100%. Going back to the original um, topic of conversation, I feel like at the end of the day, do not be mad if after now things have happened between us, I find out who you are and I punch you up. Sheesh. It's mad because you could like, okay. On that note. 
<laughs> on that note, let's, that would be a let's fair fight. That that actually, <laughs> hey, yo, again, we're banging these rounds out today, bruv. That was solid I'm as dead. well. You deserve a round of applause for that one, even though one of you is being again. relegated. Um, oh, who are we voting off, man? Sholo, what are you saying? Oh, who are we voting off? I don't want to... Why do people have to start with this side? Can we not start on that side? Okay, OJ, who yeah, are we voting off, bro? Uh, <clears throat> let's see who's been here the longest. Oh, louder, man. Just vote off your shit. You've all been right. here equal time now. Nah, this, this, this sis hasn't. She's been here the whole time, right? No, I haven't. I've been here the same amount of time. Bruv. Walla. Devil's advocate is out of here. Oh, you don't Aww. always want to vote out the devil's advocate. Brother, I don't know why you're always saying devils and then lying about your sexual. You know, huh? And listen, stop for a while. What do you mean? Why are you lying? I'm like, lying you like said that. devils hey. ain't lying. You're going to get voted off. That's the way the game works. I'm provoked. Yeah, because I have to provoke thought. That's a problem. Who are you voting off, devils? OJ. 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 <laughs> Kick back. Aisha, what are you saying, darling? Sorry, babe. OJ's oh, got to go. Jesus, he just got here. <laughs> Shola, what are you saying? These girls are ganging up on my <laughs> The ladies know. have to stick together. Shola. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Mama's doing a Timmy. <laughs> this is what Timmy did last week. Exactly. He's yeah, yeah. my show. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Look, Fahim has to come on, man. Okay, come. Come through. OJ was voted off, man, unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. Fahim, come. Fahim, come, come, come. Huh? Come on. What? You're coming on, bro. Get on there. You sh- shook at the girls. They're peak, you know. They're actually peak. They're peak. They're peak. They're peak. No, it's all right. I'm dead. I love it, though. All right, this is... This is, yeah, this one's going to be a little bit different, but we're going to do this to end the round, right? What I'm going to ask you is, um, say, you, say you saw a guy that you liked or, or a woman that you like. I know you, you get me, you got your own thing going on. Alhamdulillah and all them things there, yeah? <laughs> but but say, say, say you met someone that you felt mad passionate about at the bus stop, yeah? I want you to all go around and tell me exactly how you would move to that person. And don't say, oh, I would have moved to that. No, you have to. Like, this is someone who you're feeling raw. Like, all of a sudden, you get a mad feeling you haven't felt before. I want to know how each of you would shoot your shot. Whoever's is the weakest is going on. Wow. Why am I first? How would I move to man? Okay, so I, let me just set the scene for myself. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> You're at the bus stop. I'm at the bus stop. It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> he has an umbrella. He also oh, we're both right. at the bus stop. Yeah, you're both at the. What the fuck no, can he be driving me? past or something? No, 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 no. Why is he waiting for a bus? This is the thing. <laughs> He's at the bus stop. Maybe the Merc's broken down. Whatever it is, man. He's at the bus stop. You're at the bus stop. How Uber. you? How you doing? This? <laughs> okay, so anyway, we're we're both at the bus stop. Cool. He's come up. We're waiting for the one one three. <laughs> From Edgware <laughs> to Brent Cross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, I might just turn around to him, just ask him a question. So it might just be like, "Raw, have you got the time?" Even I might be wearing an Apple Watch, have my phone, <laughs> just a little something, a little smile. You know, at first I got a face the other way, so he's used the back. Obviously, it's not a matting, but it's something. <laughs> Show oi, oi. It's something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's done this before, innit? <laughs> The nyash. That's that's what the nyash. You there's a little bend there. Te- I didn't even think about that. You, you just, uh, Let me tell you something. Oh, when it, not really trying to like release the female nash. game, but you know that's just something girls got to do. Mm. You know? yeah, like that. we understand that. I mean, look, if you got the talent, talent, you got the talent. You get what I'm saying? Nah. You have to play to your strengths. <laughs> Men are very physical creatures. Do you your, get what I mean? Your own is so. nyash. We thank God. Obviously, flash of a smile as well. Come on. Wow. Yeah. Then yeah, make up. Listen. I ain't friendly, friendly, but I'm friendly in it. Like, I can chat to man, luckily. So yeah, yeah my. You see that South London just came out there. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> that's it. He'll move to me after that. There. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't, he doesn't. Then it's all it. Um, I think <laughs> what we're both at the bus stop. I think I'd just start like if he's got an umbrella and I don't, I'd probably just be like, oh, can I stand under your umbrella? And Do then I'll Ella, go and do his umbrella because he's gonna say Ella. yeah. No, 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 no. His umbrella metaphor for his thing. <laughs> 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 
This guy is on something. Can yeah, I yeah, stand yeah. under your yeah. umbrella? Wow. No, but that's I know how I take that one. It's irrelevant. It's relevant. Like it's, it wouldn't be a weird thing to ask. Like I say it as a joke, obviously. Um, we'll naturally start talking because we're both under the umbrella. If he says yeah, then I'm, not already he likes me, but if I was like, if he wasn't interested, I'd be like, no. So he's going to say, yeah. I'll be so cold. And then I'm going to be standing on the... He said, no, I just went into the road. I'm walking. I'm walking. Listen, I'm not being funny, but at that point, if he says no, you have to leave the bus. You have to, you have to leave. You have to go, you have to walk to the next bus. The bus is running me over. Like, I'm going into the road. I'm going to lie down and just take me now. You can't even walk to the next bus. You've got to walk back. Yeah, that's it. You have to get on the bus, on the bus before <laughs> him. Yeah. So it's his choice to... That means so, that. Yeah. You go on the bus and, and tell the driver King Dreyfus. Just like us. I'm sitting downstairs. That's an L. You have to walk home, to be honest. No, I'm walking the road. The ambulance is taking me to the hospital. The morgue or the hospital. Which is closer to your house. Whatever's, <laughs> wherever I need to go. But I'm going under his umbrella. We're going to start talking a bit of flirty, flirty. He's going to ask me for my number or social media or whatever the case may be. And then we just go from there. All right. Wow. All right. Fair enough. The umbrella technique. What are you saying, Amina? I'm mad. First and foremost, I'm the most awkward person in life. So <laughs> he's definitely going to think I'm a creep. But um, <laughs> I feel like I might just do like a little dance because I know. <laughs> It's just that like walking in the rain. I'm such a weirdo, but no. Um, Ray J, one wish. <laughs> Trust me, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I might actually just, if I could do it for Bant, so I'd probably go up to him and be like, yo, hey, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Are you right, babes? Um, so. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no game. But none. that's cute though. Yeah, he might yeah, like yeah. that. Do you know what that like, pretty girl? What? I mean, I, yeah, I might have to do the strategic positioning. So just yeah. move my body the around. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, oh, there's my keys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Um, just flash my Oyster card. <laughs> 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 uh, nah, Joe. You know <laughs> Depends if it's in South London. I ain't moving to no one. Nah. <laughs> What's wrong with South London? <laughs> but nah, nah. I, I just, you know what? I think a compliment, a nice compliment, goes a long way. Um, maybe her trainers, shoes, or whatever she's wearing. Just strike up that conversation, and that's it, really. Simple, man. Keep it, keep it simple. What about you, Chris? I want. I wanna, I'll, I'll do mine. I want to hear the dialogue in it. So, Shola, can you be the girl and then for him <laughs> do, do the dialogue? <laughs> Shola's the wrong person. Right, you say I'm dead. No, 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 no. Because I know you're like, That's the South London one. That's why. I'm from South. Are you right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. You put me on the spot. Still. All right. Just say you like my flip flops. Yeah, yeah, okay. I love your flip flops. Where'd you get them from? Thank you. They're from Primani. What? Primani. Oh, is it? Mm. Okay. Do um, you want to use my Oyster card? <laughs> hey, a, you know what? I'm too old to be <laughs> pulling things out of bus stops, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm too old to for like. yeah. I'm too old for bus, <laughs> so I can't lie. I don't know. No. You did your thing, fam. If it was me, I'll just walk up to her and just tell her straight. You're due to hold it. Oh. All right. So that's that's. <laughs> I'll just move to her, man. You know how it goes. I'll just say hey. Hi. You can normally tell in their eyes if they're feeling you. It's that quick. Do you want to do it? Go on. Yo, you're right. I'm right. Thank you. What are you saying? Nothing, just here. It's fucking weather, man. Shit, I need to get back to Dubai. Oh, is that where you live? Yeah, man. Oh, I'm out there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, I've got to go. You got Insta? Yeah, I do. You it's know. that quick. You listen, shout me. My Insta's <laughs> at Fute Knows. If you need help with Gyal, shout your boy. You're done now. Listen, that's all for today at the 971 Lounge. Thank you, everybody, man. You lot have been fantastic today, man. A lot of thought-provoking content. If you guys like it, like, subscribe, follow us, all them thing there, man. Love, 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 peace. Thank you. <laughs>